Hi, this is John with Performance Plus Tennis, and today's lesson is all about how to improve your serve motion. And one of our online coaches recently posted a video and, and strongly suggested that the serving motion is nothing like a throwing motion. So in today's lesson, we're gonna break down the serve motion for you and show you the things that are similar to throwing, how throwing a ball is similar to serving, and give you some key tips that are gonna help you improve your serve motion right away. So the question is, is the throwing motion anything like serving? And if you're a good ball thrower, does that help you serve better? And in my 40 years of coaching, I can tell you that I have never seen a student learn how to serve quickly and efficiently with a good motion before knowing how to throw a ball. So I think there is a direct relationship between the skill of throwing a ball and how you use that skill and apply it to the serving motion. Well, the biggest difference between throwing a ball and serving, and I think this is where some of the confusion lies, is that when I'm throwing a ball, I'm really throwing the ball forward generally on a, on a horizontal plane, trying to get the ball to, to let's say, um, you know, a first baseman or something like that. On the serve, though, the entire movement and motion is angled upward. So the difference is, is I am throwing forward, and when I'm serving, I'm throwing upward. And that is the big, big difference as I see it. The movement of throwing and the mechanics of throwing and the action of throwing is actually triggered by the same thing when you're, whether you're throwing a ball or you're serving, the movement is really very, very similar. And again, I've, with all my experience, I can tell you that the best throwers that I've had as students become, have the best serving motion as well. So when, when I'm serving, I'm placing the ball up and I'm trying to get up so I'm getting into an angle here where I'm on a 45 degree angle where I can throw upward, okay? And that, that throwing action is triggered by the same thing. If I'm throwing a ball, I'm rotating my shoulders, okay? I'm pushing with my legs. My non-dominant hand is extending out towards the target. I don't leave it there and throw it. It actually moves away and tucks. And you'll see quarterbacks do that in football as well. They'll throw the ball and they'll tuck underneath and they'll be up above, okay? So if I were throwing a baseball, again, one little difference here is the horizontal throw, I'm generally gonna have my elbow approximately the same height as my shoulder, so I'm gonna be this way as I throw. When I'm serving, I'm getting into a shoulder over shoulder action that's going to get that elbow up above my head. So I'm gonna be more in an angle like this at the release point. So the movement's gonna be more upward. And that is the big, big distinction between throwing motion and serving motion. Another somewhat uh, obvious but unique distinction between throwing and serving is that when I'm throwing, I'm actually releasing the ball. So I'm actually letting it go. So you'll see a lot of pitchers, they try to get as much arm speed as they can, and then that arm just flies after the release. The arm just flies away and comes down. And when you're serving, that movement is upward. So it's gonna have a totally different characteristic after the contact point, which we're gonna to relate to, say, the release point on the throw. When you're throwing, look where I'm letting the ball go. I'm letting the ball go well out in front of me here, okay? And my head is actually behind the release and it's behind the shoulder. So I'm throwing, my head is back, and I'm throwing this way, okay? When I'm serving, when I'm serving or throwing the ball upward, my release point or my contact point is going to be above me and look where my head is. My head is actually in front of the shoulder and that's because I'm going upward and I want that shoulder to have full rotation as I release the ball. And in virtually every single high performance player, you'll see that pronation, that long axis pronation, which I'm such a big advocate of because that is what gets the racket head to move from behind the hand to over the hand. And that is the magical piece we want to get into our serve motion that generates easy power. So what's the takeaway for, for you and how can you take this lesson and improve your serve right away? Well, I believe that if you work on the skill of throwing the ball up on a 45 degree angle and getting your palm to face out to the right for a right-hander, you're going to start to develop that long axis pronation and get that throwing motion going. And you'll see some of these exercises be developed further uh, here on the serve playlist uh, on the channel. So re reference those videos, it's gonna help your, help your motion quite a bit. So the progression I would like to see you do is work on your throwing motion, get up on a 45 degree angle with your, with your tossing hand, stretching up, toss, throw the ball up. Notice how my hand stays up, 
Okay, I've got all this upward momentum going and it gets to the point where it can't go any further and it's a, there's sort of a stall effect because there's so much upward momentum. But it's at that point where the racket head will accelerate up and over past the hand and you'll see a lot of the top servers will look like this. In fact, the elbow will be higher than the hand before the shoulder will come down. So then I would just, after I work on the throwing motion, I'd get the racket in the hand and I would just work on that movement. And just keep repeating that. And then of course the final skill is learning to place the ball into that movement so that the swing itself is not disrupted. The timing or rhythm of the swing or the path the swing takes to play the ball. And of course that takes a greater knowledge of where you want to place the ball and where the contact ideally is on the serve for most serves. But you want to try to blend that together. The motion and the movement that becomes natural and fluid with a well-placed ball that allows your motion to fall into place naturally. Thanks so much for watching today's lesson. I hope this will really help your serve motion. And I think to be clear, I'm not really trying to kick up controversy here, but I'm trying to help you round out your information, figure out what works for you to make your serve a much better motion, a much better weapon. So I think uh, this is gonna be great for everyone to get involved. I welcome your comments down below. Let's have a discussion about this. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Thanks for watching the video today and we'll see you in the next lesson.